troubles come, you're my hiding place, and no most I, those who know you trust you, and you will not forsake the ones, you will not forsake the ones, you will not forsake the ones who see your face hallelujah Woo! almost high you're my stronghold I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart I will sing glorious praises to your Salt in you, my Lord, yesterday, today, forever. You're the same. Seek the ones you will not forsake the ones my God you will not forsake the ones who seek your faith we're seeking your holy faith seeking your holy faith yeah. seeking your faith And you speak to your sons and daughters today. All right, you guys, let's go. It is a song from a friend of mine, 1986. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What year were you born? <laughs> 86. And this is a, a precious man of God, singer, songwriter, worship leader, Mark Altrogi. He wrote, I stand in awe of you. Oh, a bunch of things, but this one, oh, I have a destiny, and it just kind of came up on my list today, I go, hey now, here it is, it's a psalm straight up, I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart, I will sing glorious praises to your name. Yesterday, today, forever, you're the same. A.M. and almost high, you who are my stronghold. When troubles come, you're my hiding place. And almost high. Those who know you trust you, and you will not forsake the ones who see your faith. Yeah, and almost high, you are my stronghold when troubles come. Those who know you trust you, you will not forsake the one. You will not forsake the ones you yeah. You will not forsake the ones who seek your faith. We enter into your presence. Almighty, seeking your face, Almighty King of 
of living water open your bibles to psalm chapter one chapter one psalm one because we're going to be looking at this singing it today narrating it reading the scripture wow we're going to have a huge blessing in front of us and then the powerful worship leader man of god justin rizzo wrote wrote this this will be my song, God. This will be my prayer until the end. Until the end. This will be my song, God. Come on now. This will be my Planted by the streams 
My life will be built upon your rock. My life will be built upon your rock. My life will be built upon your rock. That I would not be moved in the midst of the coming storm, in the midst of the coming blessing, in the midst of the coming storm, even in the midst of the coming blessing. my life would be built upon you as my rock that I would not be moved or my life would be built upon you you are my rock and my strength God yeah my life is built upon you as my rock that I would not be moved there it is there it is my life is built upon you as my rock my rock I'll be unmovable unshakable cause my roots go down so deep unmovable unshakable in you God I'll be unmovable do you get it Unshakable, my roots go down very deep, unmovable. is the first psalm of the 150 psalms, the book of psalms. How important was this in the heart of Abba, Heavenly Father, for us that he made this the first psalm? Every word, let's loiter in it. <laughs> let's linger. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who walks, stands, and sits in the presence of the Lord. Here it is. That walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Woo! I'm not walking. I don't want the counsel of the ungodly, Lord. No. It'll lead us down the wrong pathway. Nor stands in the path of sinners. I think the Amplified says they, they stand passively in the path. I'm not, no, I'm not on your pathway, mistress. I was a big time sinner in the world, but now I'm born again and saved by his mercy and his blood. So three things. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of the sinners. Thirdly, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. They're scornful. It's prejudicial. Again, they scorn people. I'm not for that. I'm for the grace and mercy covering every man, every woman, every 30-year-old, every 20-year-old, all, all of us, every teenager, Gen Z. So he said, walk, stand, sit. It's kind of an odd order. But if you're walking with him, then you take a stand. Then you can sit in his presence. That's how I look at it. No way can't. Yes way. If you walk with the Lord and you stand on the highway of holiness, then you can sit and enjoy his presence. Walk not in the counsel of the ungodly man. Stand not in the path of sinners. All right, I'm going to do that, Lord, yeah. I will not sit in the seat of the scornful. I will not sit in the seat of the scornful man. 
that's against my divine nature now. Oh, the joys of the man who walks not after the advice of the wicked, who does not loiter in the way taken by sinners. Oh, the joys of the godly believer who does not sit in the company of those who mock and riddle others they're rude and disrespectful hear this again I'll not sit in the company of those who mock and ridicule others I'll not sit with the insolent the rude and disrespectful Lord I'm not a mocker I will not be a mocker I'll not be a ridiculer of any human being Lord yeah I'm not up for the rude and disrespectful, Lord, because you set me free. I'm walking in grace and mercy. We've got a word of encouragement for every, every human being on the planet. We are the sons and daughters of encouragement. Yeah, encouragement. We are the sons and daughters of encouragement. So hear it now. I want you to pay attention. Still in verse 1. Psalm 1. Oh, the joys of the man who walks not after the advice of the wicked, okay? Who does not loiter in the way taken by sin. Oh, if you get over there, They'll suck you in. They'll draw you in. Right? Stay, stay. Don't loiter. Don't linger around the way taken by sin. Like, come on, come on, join up. Let's go. No, 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 absolutely not. But this really blesses my heart when I look this up. Nor sits in the company of those who are mockers. They're ridiculers of others. They're insolent. I looked it up. Webster's Dictionary. They're the rude and disrespectful. Mocking means to tease or to laugh at. I'm not for that. I've never been for that. Even in grade school, I hated it. I hate making fun of other people. I've hated it all my life. I don't know why, but maybe the Lord did it. To be scornful and disrespectful. To treat with contempt. Nobody should be treated with contempt to disparage to diminish and to criticize we're going to do all the opposites of these bad words well they're negative words they're not necessarily bad but when I looked up mock in, in, uh, in the Hebrew and then with Miriam Webster's dictionary Noah Webster to tease or to laugh at in a scornful and deceitful way to treat with contempt. No, don't do it. To disparage and diminish. To criticize and belittle. Oh, to ridicule. Make fun of. Put them down or deride them. No, stop the madness. That's why I like this first one. Plus, it's part of my new nature as a new creature in the Lord. So what I did for a minute, stay with me, still in verse one. Oh, the joys of the man. So I looked up the opposite of mock. What is the first word that comes to your mind, the opposite of mocking or mock? It says to praise, to endorse, <laughs> to improve, to honor, and elevate them. Don't mock them, but praise them endorse them approve of them honor them and elevate them oh man i want to sing it so bad <laughs> and then i looked up the opposite of to ridicule it's to encourage which i am a son of encouragement go ahead and speak speak highly of them embrace them champion their person and their heart isn't this awesome today <laughs> And by the way, what happened to me immediately doing these notes is the five fruits of the Holy Spirit will quench and wipe out ridicule and mocking. Out of all the fruits of the Spirit, there are five that will blast the daylights. 
out of ridicule and mocking. Hallelujah. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Fruits of the Spirit. Love will wipe out and quench ridicule and mocking. And then kindness, of course, kindness will wipe out ridicule and mocking. And then there's goodness, gentleness and self-control. And Galatians 5 says, against such as these five things, there is no law against these. Use them abundantly, love kindness and goodness gentleness self-control we got through one verse today <laughs> oh the joys of the godly believer hear me now the joys of the godly believer that do not walk in the way of the ungodly, the sinners, the scornful. Oh, blessed is the godly man. Oh, blessed is the godly woman who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Yeah. We won't stand in the pathway of sinners on their way to sinning. We won't sit in the seat of the scornful. No amen, no amen. Blessed is the godly believer. Oh, the joys of the godly believer who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. They will not stand in the path of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scorn. Just take it in, linger in it. What a beautiful time today. Psalm 1, remember, the Lord God himself made Psalm 1, Psalm 1, not Psalm 34, not Psalm 77, not Psalm 144. So meditate on it, memorize some of it. Didn't get through the three verses, but we got through one. <laughs> Awesome. Well, we love you guys. We appreciate you. Thank you for your intercessions. It's plural to me. Thank you for your prayers. Doing worship, the presence of the Lamb of God and the Word, sending it around the world until he comes again as the Lion of Judah. Yeah, the Root of David, uh, the, the son of, Je of uh, Jesse and David. And he's coming back as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Whew. Amen. So we bless you. Thank you for your prayers and your support. In Yeshua's name, shalom, shalom. We'll see you real soon.